Meet the all new 2021 McLaren 765 LT. Welcome back to Real Steel Cars for all your automotive news. And the new McLaren 765 LT is a faster, lighter, more extreme version of the 720S. To help get some of that weight down, McLaren has used a lot of carbon fiber in this car. The new front splitter, bumper, side skirts, rear bumper, wing, and rear diffuser are all constructed of carbon fiber, as well as door panels and other body components. Now the hood, front fenders, doors, and rear fenders are made of a lightweight aluminum, but you can opt to have them in carbon fiber to help reduce the weight even more. They've even utilized carbon fiber shelled race seats, which weigh 39.7 pounds lighter than the 720S seats. They have a lightweight central tunnel, even all of the glass in the car is thinner. The door windows, the windshield, even the rear glass screen. Now the C pillars and the rear screen are actually made of a lightweight motorsport style polycarbonate. But we're not done yet. It even gets a full titanium quad exit exhaust system that weighs 24 pounds. Now that is almost half the weight of the old exhaust system from the 720S. Now, in effort to continue the weight savings, McLaren has sacrificed a few creature comforts, such as the air conditioning and stereo system. Now, if these are things you can't live without, McLaren will put them back in the car at no extra cost. Now, the 720S was already a very light car, but this LT comes in at 2,709 pounds dry weight. That is 176 pounds lighter than the 720S. Now, as far as the engine is concerned, it is using the same 4-liter twin-turbo V8 as the 720S, producing 755 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. In the lighter 765 LT, that means your new 0 to 62 miles per hour is 2.7 seconds, 0 to 124 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds. Now, obviously, McLaren is not going to help the car go faster without helping it brake more. So they're actually using the same carbon ceramic disc brakes and calipers from the Sina. Now the help with aerodynamics and handling, the front suspension is 0.19 inches lower and the nose is 1.9 inches longer and they stretch the rear wing out 0.31 inches. Overall, this increases the length of the car by two and a quarter inches and 20% more downforce than the 720S. One more thing I forgot to mention is that even the forged aluminum wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0 Trofeo R tires, I'm not even sure I'm saying that right, come in at 48 and a half pounds lighter than the 720S. Now pricing and availability has not been released yet, but we can only imagine it's going to be significantly higher than the $300,000 starting price of the 720S. Drop a like on the video if you're a fan of McLarens. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, and I'll catch you next time.